How's it going, guys? I got something new, as you can kind of see on YouTube. I'm going to start reading your signs. I'm going to do them once a month. We're getting towards the end of this month. So this is going to be for February. So I'm going to break it up in four segments. I'm going to do earth, air, water, fire. And we're going to do it that way to read the signs. I feel that's easier. So if you're Capricorn, you got to wait to hear a few other signs. Sorry. But isn't that what Walter Mercado did? Uh, for those who may not know who lived under a rock, he was very big on the Spanish channels. And he was probably the most popular astrologer ever. Um, I know, I know some of you know who he is. And um, very amazing. And, you know, when I've talked to people about him that did watch the channel, you know, growing up with the family, everybody had to be quiet when he read your sign. So I'm hoping that's the way it goes for you. When I read your sign, everybody's got to be quiet at home. I'm hoping I, I, that I'm good enough for that. So, um, but yeah, he's definitely, he was amazing. So this is my first installment. And uh, with that, and let's go ahead and get started. So this is coming up for the month of February for the earth signs. So here we go. We're going to start with Capricorn. Capricorn. And I am going to do tarot and oracle for these readings to give you guys, I'm not going to do a full Celtic cross. I, that would be very labor intensive. So we're going to kind of look at what's going on. So let's see Capricorn energy. What do we got? You know, especially going in with all this. Okay. Whoops. We got a card flew out. Okay. Let's throw it down. We got two. Let's put them down. Got a little fire in here for Capricorn. So let's see. Ooh, that devil card. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because, it, you know, who rules that? The devil, Saturn, Capricorn. Right there, that's your card. Okay, this is my sign too. So let's go ahead and shuffle them. We also have the two of wands. So we'll talk about that in a minute, Capricorn. Yeah, but I finally decided it was like it was time to read the signs. I know it's big on YouTube. And um, I'm going to do it this way. I would make 12 separate videos, but guys, I would be exhausted. I would be exhausted. So I figured let's just break it down to the elements. So much easier for me, so I hope you don't mind. I hope you enjoy these. Oh, let me let me put this energy in the video. I know it's kind of hard to see, so but I'll be holding them up. Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Okay, so we're going to kind of do it this way. We got a lot of fire funny for Capricorn, which is really funny. So it's going to be what heck of a month. Oh, so let's see what's going on. We got some intense stuff. So Capricorn, we've got the two of wands in the reverse position. So I feel like you are at a fork in the road, you know, as far as which direction to go. That is what you're kind of, you're going to feel a little bit stuck, but things are going to get unstuck because here we have the hangman and this is inevitably, it's going to undo. Okay. So we, but we're going to feel a little bit stuck. Which direction do I go and so forth, but how we're going to get unstuck, we really got to focus and so forth, you know, is we got to kind of surrender to the path and so forth. We've got to kind of surrender. That is going to give us a different perspective once we do. So you're going to feel a little stuck in the beginning of the month and so forth. You know, you're like, it could be a job situation. You know, I'm considering, you know, should I stay with this job or should I go to something completely different? You may be stuck in a rut like that and you're not sure. You're going to feel a little bit trapped in that, but it's not going to be forever. <clears throat> But here we've got, you're struggling. We've got the seven of wands. You feel like I got to stand up. I got to stand my ground. I really want to wiggle my way out of this. I'm really feeling confined and so forth. So you're going to feel like you're going to need to stand up for yourself and stand your ground to get out of this, to be able to get properly on the path. And then, yeah, we've got that devil card, you know, and, you know, this is your card, you know, Saturn and Capricorn. One of the things about that is to be able to kind of wiggle and get free of those chains and so forth. I do like the fact that towards the end of the month, the toxic energy is going to start to leave. 
and we'll get that clear perspective. Something is clouding your vision, Capricorn, at the moment with this toxic energy that is going to let up, which is going to get you more clear in which direction to go on the path. And then we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse position. See, this is another frustration. We've got two sevens. Some evidence is going to come out. Some kind of betrayal is probably going to pop up for you. If you have been questioning anything, Capricorn, as far as a situation, maybe somebody has been being dishonest with you. Maybe it is your boyfriend. Maybe it is your girlfriend. You're going to find out the answer to that. So there could be somebody. There could be a fox, okay? Fox in the hole that has been being very sneaky. You should be getting some information on that and get some clarity. Let me try to move this over a little bit so you guys can see. It's hard to get the cards all in there. But yeah, there's something going on as far as some kind of evidence is going to be coming forward, you know, during the month of February. So if you have been questioning someone being honest with you, the answer is going to come out. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards for you. Actually, I want to go to this one. Let's go to the seven energies. Get some of that energy, but you're going to have to stand up and stand your ground over something. I've got that land between. Now, isn't this interesting? We've got that two of wands energy and so forth. And we've got that land between. So we've got that divide. We feel like, which side do I go on? You may also feel like you need to choose a side on a situation. You may feel like you're being pulled apart on a situation. It could be between a couple people and so forth. And that would make sense having you choose a certain path. You know, so it could be also a person you have to choose as well. A certain side. Definitely a side is coming up in your energy. I've got the card body and soul. So I kind of look at that devil influence and so forth and kind of feeling trapped. We've got that struggle. But you can free your soul, which is going to free your body. You can do that. And let me put that to the side so I could get a little bit better perspective. Uh, the card bearing fruit, we talked about that in one of my videos. You know, good tree makes good true, uh, fruit, bad tree makes bad fruit. So we want to be fruitful during this year, obviously. So we got to kind of look, where am I putting my roots? We talked about the land between and so forth. Where am I going to put my roots? Notice there is a tree on those sides. I see how they're kind of connected. Where am I going to put my roots? And then we talked about, what did I say? A fox in the hole. It did Capricorn. Did I not tell you? We've got something sneaky going on there with you. So we've got a fox in the hole because fox is a trickster. Okay. Uh, ears wide open ears wide open. So we need to be really paying attention. You know, what is the energy behind those words and so forth? Somebody could be talking about you behind your back. I wish I had a little better news for you, Capricorn. That is also my sign. So I'm going to be real careful and watch that fox. You know what I'm saying? Now, remember, of course, with reads, take with what resonates. You know, these are collective reads, discard, but definitely give me feedback. If you come back, you know, a month later, you know what? There was a fox in the hole, Ellen. You were right. So that is for Capricorn. Okay, so let's go back down again. Wish I had a little better news for you, but Capricorn always has to have it hard. That's one of the things I've kind of learned on the path. Capricorn has to always have it hard. Now we're going to read for Taurus. Let's get that Taurus energy. And Taurus, I know who you are. You are probably sitting on the sofa right now, hogging the remote. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. But seriously, seriously. Taurus is a very fixed sign. Stubborn is true, but you know what? It does, Sometimes you got to be stubborn. I've always likened, um, if you know the story about Ferdinand the Bull, um, that is one of the things to understand about Taurus. They do love their peace, just like Ferdinand the Bull did. But if you provoke them, if you push them too hard and things like that, that's where they get a little feisty. But they are lovers of peace. That is what they really are. Bulls actually like peace. They don't want to charge. They don't want to fight with anybody. They just want to relax. Let's see what we're going to get for Taurus.
<laughs> yeah, see, I got to watch that. I'm Capricorn. Who is who is it that I can't trust? Well, I'm going to find out. You know I'll find out. Hey, when you're on social media, there's always somebody. So <laughs> there's always somebody. Okay, Taurus. Will it be peaceful for Taurus? Let's see what we got. Eighty cups of verse. We're going to talk about that, Taurus. <clears throat> Interesting. I've got the eight of cups reverse. And the Eight of Swords reverse. So Taurus, pay attention to number eight this um, this month. That is something we got to really look at. And we do have the lovers. So we're going to talk about love. I'll pull some lovers cards for you. But the crowning situation is the lovers. So this is going to be a big thing for Taurus. And Taurus really is a lover. They're not a fighter. Just like I said. You know, so we've got a relationship. But Taurus, Taurus, we're in the Eight of Cups in the reverse position. We're thinking about walking away. Should I invest any further into this relationship? But I got a reversal, so that kind of makes me feel now nothing is necessarily faded, but some of you may walk, some of you may not. But we're looking at a situation. Should I invest any more into this relationship and so forth? You know, I've really, I put in this, my love, attention, affection. Maybe you've even put money, but you put in your time and you're kind of at the precipice. Should I stay in this? We're kind of looking at that. And then we've got the Eight of Swords in the reverse position. We definitely want our freedom. You know, this is one of the things that's impacting you is your freedom and so forth. You feel like, you know, you've been trapped for a little while, but this is something that's, it's going to become more important. This is kind of one of the things, you know, what is more important, love or freedom? Sometimes we kind of have to face that on the path. That is the major question. What is more important? So Taurus, that is going to be your question for the month. We've got the moon, so you're going to get a lot more clarity because the moon is reversed now. We're going to get a lot more clarity on the situation, what you need to do. I feel like some things are going to reveal themselves, hence the moon's reversal. Things are going to calm down, and you're going to get the clarity that you need. And then a lot of it, the queen of wands. So we've got a lot of the, for the feminine especially, some of you are, you have a lack of independence and so forth. There is definitely a call though it's it's coming there that the real spiritual journey begins when you pick up with that eight of cups energy let's go ahead and pull your oracle cards i want to draw a lover's oracle let's grab one what is next to the lovers we're going to talk about that i do have the card trust okay transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform so this is kind of a at the same time, I got that walking away feel, but it is reversed. I do have the card reflection. So maybe it's just this. I will go ahead and backtrack slightly on my read. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that it will all work for the best. So actually, I'm going to backtrack just slightly. Maybe we shouldn't walk away. Hence, that is why the cups are reversing. Not yet. Maybe you just need a little bit more time. We do kind of focus. Where are you not free? Maybe you should communicate that with your significant other and so forth. I do not feel free to do this or that. Maybe they're cutting you off communication-wise when you want to really express yourself and so forth. But the good thing is if we just give the other, don't make necessarily a whole breakup. The lovers is upright after all. The lovers is showing up right in that situation. Not necessarily take um, a whole breakup, but maybe take a little break. Consider that. That will get everybody a little bit of clarity that they need. Let's pull some other Oracle cards. So we've got that. I'm going to leave the hearts there for that energy. So I would say don't break up. Don't throw in the towel. 
I know you've thought about walking away, but you're thinking about that investment with the reversal. Spirit does seem to be saying, not just yet. So I'm going to go with that. What are some of the Oracle cards for you? I do have that card, a burst of magic. So that is good. Something magical is going to happen for you that's going to give you the clarity you need. We've got that magic with the moon and so forth. But notice this is a lotus to get your peace and stuff. We need our freedom. You know, if any time if we're ever want, wanting to walk away, we're having our freedom. Can I be free in the relationship, though? That is the question. And I have the card, Into Me I See. So we're really going to be focusing on that, Into Me I See. We've got to really do a lot of self-reflection before we take action is really the message of the Spirit. I'm going to draw one more. This is going over the Queen of Wands. I've got the endless possibilities. Okay, so we've got some different directions and ways things could go, and they can go for the positive. So yes, 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 yes. So the message is don't throw in the towel if you're thinking about breaking up. Um, if we've, you know, there are some things that could still be worked out, but give space. We need to get out of each other's face. That's what we need to do, okay? We need to get out of each other's face and just take a little time and take a bit of a breather. Maybe take, you know what? I'm going to take a week to myself and leave them alone and don't talk to them for a little bit and stuff. Whether you're, you know, male or female, just say, I need a week to myself. I need to think things through carefully. I just need nobody in my face. I don't want to talk to anybody. I need that hermit time. So that is the message for Taurus. And now we go to Virgo, and this is my moon sign. I got a lot of earth in me. I think my chart's 44% water, though, and stuff. I, I think I've done the percentage before. I got some Pisces. I definitely got a lot of Scorpio in there. And so we're going to read for Virgo. Virgo, what does Virgo need to know? Focus on Virgo. And poor Virgo, she gets she gets beat up on too. She's, uh, you know, I know they can seem a little prudent about some things. Um, they're just, you know, they're they pay attention to the finer details. They can be they can be a little nitpicky and stuff. You know, they are, and they will they will point certain things out to you. They're not afraid to speak their mind and tell you, you know, certain things. They are kind of a fixer person. Because they notice things that others don't notice. Very good intuitives, actually. They're very good intuitives. So that's the thing. They will point out what they see as flaws. And they will try to correct you. They definitely will correct you on your spelling. You know, if you write a post and it's full of a bunch of crap, they are going to t call you on it. That's who Virgo is. Oh, that does not want to go. There it goes. I am not a good shuffler, guys. 20 years and I can't shuffle. Some people could shuffle so amazing. And this is just one of the most tedious parts of tarot reading. But it's cool. Okay, so let's see. Virgo, Virgo. Let's see what your cards are. Oh, I like the chariot. So that that has some good energy here. Got the chariot. Let's bring that over. Okay, that's good. Okay. Well, Virgo looks a little bit better for the earth signs and so forth. So we do have the chariot. So any kind of situation about grabbing the reins, taking control, and going forward... You will go forward successfully. If there are some things like a new project you are taking on, new job, any kind of situation that just started, it feels something new to me for you, Virgo, that you are going to be successful in your endeavor. So it's time to take action. If you thought about starting that small business, it's time to take action. 
you know, whatever it may be, you will be successful. This is very positive. Now, I do have the star in the reverse position. The star, even if it reverses, does not lose its message of hope. You may have felt a little hopeless. You have doubted yourself. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I could be successful. You know, Virgo, you beat yourself up more than any other sign there is. You are, because you are your own worst critic. You can be critical of others, you know, because that's, you know, Virgo is it has that critic. But the inner critic is even worse than anything. Virgo, you do this more than anyone. You got to stop beating up on yourself. You're going to be fine. So I want you to be hopeful. We can turn this around. The star never loses its message of hope no matter what. But stop being hopeless. Cool it with the inner critic. I do have the king of swords in the reverse position. You may encounter somebody who kind of stands there in your way of your success and stuff. We have that kind of energy. It may feel like a block. Keep going forward. You will run them over. I do have the Hierophant over here. Remember, say you're the Hierophant. This card, it is called Faith. It's important to have faith in yourself. We're going to cool it with the inner critic and so forth. We may feel someone trying to block your success. You're going to run them over with that chariot energy. So you're going to make it just fine. And then once you get through, we're going to have that abundance. The seeds for abundance are being planted this month. And they're going to set the tone for the next several months. This is a very positive one. Your hard work is going to pay off. So it, don't worry, it's not all for naught. The hard work is going to pay off through February, and it's going to set the tone for the months to come. Let's pull some Oracle cards. But you are going to do quite well. And why am I doing reversals with an Oracle deck? Don't ask me why. It's been a long day, guys. So I've got the card, and that is uncaging. Beautiful uncaging. Look at that. You're going to set your heart free this month. And you're going to get free of that inner critic. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You're going to feel free. Once you grab the reins and take control, any kind of obstacle you're going to run over. Now, see, we've got that. That card popped up again. The land between. That popped up in the other one. It must be an earth thing going on. So you may feel you need to choose a side and so forth. We've got that energy again. You know, maybe it's an earth sign thing. I'm going to have to look. And look at that, Virgo, you love perfection. But what about perfect harmony? In perfect harmony, everything is going to be fine. So we got to let go of the hopeless feel that you can be successful. You're going to be fine. <clears throat> and then I've got the card, a grand symphony. Everything is just going to come together. It's going to be very positive. I'm actually drawing a poll from another Oracle deck for you. One more message. So I've got the card, let go. That's one of the things. That's one of the things we want to let go. Yes, we're going to grab the reins and take control, but we're going to let go of that inner critic, beating yourself up to death kind of energy and being so hard. This is what it says. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of the spirit as we have only your best attention at heart, and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. So absolutely, let go of any kind of fear, doubts. We're going to stop the inner critic. This is going to be a big, big thing with February. I'm going to stop beating up on myself. And I know, like I said, Virgo gets a bad rap by criticizing others and this and that, but they do it to themselves worse than anyone. But going forward, this is going to set the tone for the next few months. As you go forward successfully, they'll feel there's going to be some kind of obstacle. It could be a person. It could also represent an energy. You know, it can do that as well. You're going to crush it. You're going to crush it as long as you could stop this from talking you out of it. Okay, great. So we've got the earth signs down. I hope you guys enjoyed your read. And definitely please give me feedback. Leave me feedback. You know, at the end of the month, you were right about this, that, whatever. Maybe that was, you know, definitely let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback.